Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sid Survival Guide. Today, I'm going to make a fancy feast alcohol stove. Let's see how it goes. Hey guys, Sid Survival Guide. <laughs> Alright, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to strip the labels off of our cans. Alright, and then what we're going to do is measure this can. Right here. I need the carbon fabric to be this tall. So, I'm going to lay it. Right there, I'm going to make a mark, right, make a mark, and I want it to be a little bit below the rim, right, so I got my mark, boom, now that I've got my mark, I'm just going to fold my fabric over where my mark is, and I'm going to make this cut much easier, right, I'm just going to score it down through here. It'd be nice if this was perfect, but it probably won't be. All right. Boom, there we go. This is gonna go in here, right? Okay. And I want it to be below this. So, see this lip right here? I'm gonna flatten that out. Bam. Now this part is done. Done. Now what we're going to focus on is our can. Now we want our can to stick up just high enough so that we can grill sitting on top of it. So what it looks like is about the second rib up. So what I'm going to do, because we have to have holes all the way at the bottom, second rib up. I'm going to go ahead and make some holes so that when I cut it, they're already there. Second one up. Yeah, all right. All right, now we've got four holes, right? These four holes are gonna serve a purpose as to allow our fuel to soak in to our carbon cloth, okay? So now that I've got that mark, I'm gonna take and I'm saw this down, right?
Now, to be honest, this doesn't have to be the perfect seal because the fact that when you set it down, you want those holes to allow fuel in. So what I'm gonna do, now that I've already got some initial holes, is I'm just gonna cut a couple more little spots for fuel in between those spots, right? So I'm gonna put four more little slits, tiny little guys. All right. I don't want too much fuel to soak upward because I'm assuming that it would cause some type of combustion. And here we go, the last one. All right, and now we're gonna need some air ports for the fire to breathe underneath the pan to allow the fuel to soak up and burn, right? So now, we take our drill and we drill a hole. through both sides. This allows for air. So now, we're gonna take and we're gonna clean the edge of our, our can up from, from burrs or spurs or any of that, right? And I'm gonna take this, and I have seen that it is best to allow it to overlap because it shrinks, right? So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna shove it down in this can, super tight, Bam, 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 right there. See, get it down in there real good. Shove it down in there, get that can down in there. All right, make sure it's all down in there really, really good. And look, I'll be honest with you, we're done. That's it, right there. This is what I'm gonna use to put it out when I'm done. Right? So as an example, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna boil some water. Right? I'm gonna boil some water. The lid doesn't do very well on these things. I got fuel on me. We'll let that soak in and it should be quick. Shouldn't take long, right? There it is. You cannot tell it, but it is lit. You see it? We'll give it a second to even out. The wind might be causing a problem. Let's see how long it takes to boil water. Also works in heavy winds, apparently, as you can tell. We've already got some small bubbles building up right here. Come on. I might want to put it on something besides that table, huh? Huh.
All right, now let's see how long it takes to boil water. We've got steam. All right, we got some water going over here. Look at that. That heat up water pretty quick, huh? That's pretty good. And to be so simple, man, you can't beat it. Hopefully everybody has enjoyed this video. And if you have, make sure to like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Leave a comment. Check out my social sites, my Patreon. There could be a lot more cool stuff like this happening that you don't even know about. Said Survival Guide.